A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this one. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I'd dreamt of her multiple times. 
I found her at Stega Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. first. 
after that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was... Go give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Here to join me? With pleasure. Yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. each other like the gods of Dean. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he can explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. 
Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Danny Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? 
She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ali Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Ali Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ali Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? 
I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. <laughs> Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. So long. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern.
Vespule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Not bad. to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some troll upon his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him, black and blue, and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion asks you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by.
Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It'll just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. What? Lost your nerve? Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? Oh, right, Mitty. He just got a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Well, he died. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. 
found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Why are your eyes so strange? Let's dance. Come on, come closer.
Interesting. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. 
must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of monsters, and my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, she has strong feelings for both. Alright, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Well, if Molly'll be there... On our way, then. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey's a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General.
Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retainium, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. not. Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Think I'll give you a run on the Zeracanian Bay. Cantarella for me, then. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Ah, look! Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I shall be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. as much as life.
Who do you favor, milady? Can't decide between the black stallion and the grey mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring, this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Of course not. Sweetiekins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go.
And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. See men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. what you've gotten yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one and take care not to hurt the little ones. The ambassador's ire. Follow me. Yeah, right. 
Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. Lucky day. Damn it. Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so, but don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. You should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Can someone please explain what this is all about? Which of you met with Dandelion? No need to get angry, instructor. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. 
We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Swigs.
presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Problem. Wonder what this means. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes. Just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard!
By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward. But would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varnatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beast, eh? Oh, we'll tend to her ourselves. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas! Come on, come closer. Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs, they got what they deserved. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path.
all the easy to find, which is already. Whoa! You normally pay for that. These days, they're brained, all of them. Where are you keeping, Bobby? Miss your salt hand, you old bum. What's this? Haven't even drunk her water? Naughty bum. Now repeat. Save a break. You're back! You met Poppy? You should to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. Weren't possible. Dark but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this last? Blonde, from Kovir. The Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. Bring down the lion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop, Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see.
Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
dream come the morning Your scent, berries tart, lilacs sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Prisoner. Known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say... Sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Is there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a Flora once. And made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, you said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat. Dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horse and Junior's lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. That rascal. 
least it didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, there's bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. We've got Bobby to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait to see if our war will come home and go. A million debits ah. and a million credits. My wife's Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Well, I'm sure she was a boss. I nearly sent the 